Hey guys, it's Cass and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about what you should do if you love meat and cheese but you're thinking about going vegan. Now the most common thing I've heard from people when they first find out that I'm vegan, the first thing that always comes out of everyone's mouth is, I could never do that, I love meat too much, or cheese is just so good. And I'm here today to tell you that you do not have to give up the taste of anything by going vegan. And there are a lot of ways that I did not know about before going vegan that are so simple and so easy and things that you can do so you don't have to crave the taste of meat or cheese anymore. You don't really have to give up that flavor. You just basically are giving up paying people to kill animals for food. One thing I want to mention before I start really talking about the facts of this video and tips on what you can do is the common misconception that people have about vegans is that vegans didn't really like meat or cheese that much to begin with so they were okay with giving it up and it wasn't that big of a deal in their life. And I'm here to tell you how, yeah, that is in some cases correct, but most of us, like me, were total meat eaters, were total cheese lovers before we went vegan. So I'm gonna tell you guys what I did when I became vegan, and I'm telling you right now that I get the taste of meat and cheese and other dairy products so often that I'll never crave actual real meat anymore. So one thing I've noticed is that people that aren't vegan, they will try one vegan cheese let's say on a sandwich or something and they won't like that cheese so to them they think ew vegan cheese is disgusting I'm never eating this again this is so gross how can people do this and I definitely have those times too not all vegan cheeses are the same in that there are a lot of really disgusting products there's a lot that tastes absolutely nothing like cheese and that's just because veganism is getting more popular now and a lot of companies you know, really want to get their products out there, so they're just trying out a bunch of different things and maybe they don't know how to make vegan cheese actually taste like the real deal. And so they kind of just put out whatever they think maybe people will buy. And so my number one tip throughout this whole video would be keep trying different things. There's not just one good vegan cheese out there, there's actually a lot, but you just gotta go out and find it. And if you seriously can only find one or two brands that you don't really like, cook them different ways, season different things, put them in different dishes, and it might surprise you. So just to give you guys a couple suggestions, here are my two favorite vegan cheeses. So my very favorite that I literally tried like two weeks ago is the Field Roast Chow Creamy Cheese in the original flavor. It is so good. It's, to me, it's kind of like a white cheddar flavor, and um, a lot of vegan cheeses, I've realized, don't really melt the same as regular cheese, and this cheese seriously melts really, really good, and it tastes amazing. My second favorite cheese is the Daya cheddar cheese um, slices. I don't necessarily like the shredded cheddar cheese. I think they're probably the same. I just don't know why I like the slices. They taste good on grilled cheese to me. So I basically have to say the same things with vegan meats. There's a lot that are disgusting. Even in restaurants sometimes they'll have gross vegan meats. So my favorite vegan meats by far are the Beyond Meat sausage in the hot Italian flavor. That's the one of the few vegan meats that I can eat just by itself. No sauce, no topping, nothing. like. It's so good. It tastes just like a normal sausage. It's definitely worth a shot if you think you've tried everything and you're really giving up on vegan meats and you were really craving that meat taste. I would say to go for that. The Beyond Meat burgers are really good too. They sell those at Carl's Jr. Another thing I love to just mix in with a lot of dishes with veggies or pasta or anything are the Morningstar beef crumbles. And they are already seasoned. They taste just like normal ground beef crumbles. The only thing is that Morningstar makes both vegetarian and vegan foods, and so make sure they're vegan. They have a little V in the corner and it says vegan on the top right. My favorite chicken is the Gardein crispy chicken tenders. Those really have the consistency of chicken to me. They have the taste, and so it's definitely worth trying. Now, if you are running out of options, you really don't like anything you've tried, and maybe some other products are a little too expensive for you, my suggestion is to either make your own stuff, like I've made my own vegan cheeses, which are so much healthier than the store-bought ones, and they are a lot better sometimes. And there's so many vegan cheese recipes out there, and you can find a ton that are 
nut-free, soy-free, everything free basically. Even vegan meats you can make on your own. With, you can do a lot with tofu, um, with these soy curls, and even with tempeh and seitan. But though all of those things have a very meaty consistency. If you cook them right, if you season them right, you can make whatever you want. So just find good recipes from reliable people and try those out. Another thing is to go to a full vegan restaurant. Now I know in some places those are really available, but in a lot they are now. Now, and so I'd suggest if you have access to one go a couple times try some stuff on the menu and normally at full vegan restaurants they know how to cook food to make it taste like the real thing my last tip I want to give you guys is to start slowly if you're transitioning from a total meat and cheese lover to somebody who wants to be vegan for either health environmental issues or animals so start slowly you don't have to transition overnight Yes, if you can, great. If you can't, like most people, then don't. Start with, a lot of people are doing like meatless Mondays, um, so maybe every Monday try a new vegan meat out until you find a couple that you really like and that satisfies that meat craving for you. I guarantee you, if you just keep trying different things, cooking them different ways, different seasonings, you are bound to find something you like that satisfies that craving. And this is coming from somebody who for 17 years of my life, my all-time favorite foods were bacon, chicken nuggets, grilled cheese, and like fruit. And so most of my favorite things included meat and dairy and I, you know, never thought I could give it up for a week. I'm not just somebody who has a ton of willpower that I'm having all these cravings and I just don't think about it and don't do anything about it. No, these are things that I still have been craving ever since I've been vegan, but I'm satisfying those cravings with vegan options because they taste like the real thing. Like I am finding so much that actually tastes real. I would, I never have craved any type of animal product since I've been vegan. I just find new products that I actually like that taste like the real thing. So this is basically the end of the video. I hope this helped you guys. And if you want to know more suggestions on some of my favorite vegan meats and cheese, then comment down below. I will definitely reply to you guys. If you have any other video requests or anything else you'd like to say, comment down below. Please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you like this video. And I will see you guys next time.